Hey everyone, it's Felix. We all know how crucial a good night's sleep is. It's the foundation for a productive, energetic day. But sometimes getting those zizz feels impossible, right? You're tossing and turning, checking the clock every five minutes. We've all been there. Well, don't stress, because in this video, I'm sharing nine simple yet powerful tips that you can start using tonight to improve your sleep quality. We're covering everything from quick changes you can make to your sleep environment to building healthy habits that'll make a world of difference. And the best part? These tips are all about making simple adjustments to your routine, not some complicated sleep science. So if you're ready to wake up feeling refreshed and ready to conquer the day, grab a cozy blanket, get comfortable, and let's get right into it. First up, let's talk about your sleep schedule. You know how important it is to eat your meals around the same time every day? Well, it's just as important to keep your sleep schedule consistent too. Think of your body like a well-oiled machine. It thrives on routine. Going to bed and waking up at roughly the same time each day, even on weekends, can do wonders for your sleep quality. Why does this work? Because it helps regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle, also known as your circadian rhythm. It's like setting your internal clock so your body knows exactly when it's time to wind down and when it's time to wake up feeling refreshed. Trust me, a consistent sleep schedule can be a game changer when it comes to getting a better night's sleep. And hey, I get it, life happens. There will be days when you have to stay up late or wake up early. But by sticking to a regular schedule as much as possible, you'll be giving your body the best chance to settle into a healthy rhythm, which means deeper, more restful sleep for you. Now let's talk about your sleep environment. Think of your bedroom as your sleep sanctuary. It should be a place where you feel relaxed and at peace, not stressed or stimulated. To create the ideal sleep environment, start by making sure your bedroom is cool, dark and quiet. Consider investing in blackout curtains to block out any street lights or early morning sun. Trust me, even a little bit of light can disrupt your sleep. Also, think about using a white noise machine or a fan to create a soothing, consistent sound that can help drown out any distracting noises. And of course, make sure your bed is comfy. Invest in a supportive mattress and pillows that you absolutely love. Remember, you're spending about a third of your life in bed, so make it a comfortable and inviting space. Okay, this next tip is a big one, especially in our digital age. We're all glued to our phones, laptops and TVs, but did you know that the blue light emitted from these devices can actually interfere with your sleep? It's true! That blue light messes with your brain's production of melatonin, which is a hormone that helps regulate your sleep-wake cycle. So, here's the tip aim to avoid screens for at least an hour before bed. I know, I know, it's tough, but trust me, your brain and your sleep will thank you. Instead of scrolling through social media or binge watching your favorite show, try reading a book, taking a warm bath, or listening to some calming music. These activities will help your mind unwind and prepare for sleep without the disruptive effects of blue light. You might even find that you fall asleep faster and sleep more soundly without your phone buzzing next to your pillow. Chapter four, the power of routine, winding down for better sleep. Just like a consistent sleep schedule helps regulate your body's natural rhythm, having a relaxing bedtime routine can signal to your brain that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate, even something as simple as washing your face, brushing your teeth, and reading a few pages of a book can make a big difference. The key here is to choose activities that help you relax and de-stress. This could be anything from taking a warm bath or listening to calming music, to practicing gentle yoga or meditation. The important thing is to find what works best for you and to make it a consistent part of your nightly routine. Think of it like this. You wouldn't go from 100 miles an hour straight to bed, right? You need to slow down gradually. Well, your mind is the same way. It needs time to transition from the busyness of the day to a state of relaxation and peace. That's where a bedtime routine comes in. Chapter five. Fueling for sleep, what to eat and avoid before bed. We all know that what we eat affects our overall health, but did you know that it can also impact our sleep? It's true. Eating a heavy meal right before bed can put a strain on your digestive system and make it harder to fall asleep. Instead, try to finish dinner a few hours before bedtime and opt for a light snack if you're feeling hungry later on. 
Some good options include a small bowl of oatmeal, a handful of almonds, or a banana with some peanut butter. These snacks provide a good balance of protein and complex carbs, which can promote relaxation and sleep. And as tempting as it might be to reach for that afternoon coffee or that after-dinner glass of wine, try to limit caffeine and alcohol, especially in the hours leading up to bedtime. Both of these substances can interfere with your sleep cycle and prevent you from getting a truly restful night's sleep. Chapter 6. Move Your Body – The Sleep Exercise Connection We all know that exercise is good for our physical and mental health, but did you know that it can also improve our sleep? It's true, regular physical activity can help regulate our circadian rhythm, making it easier to fall asleep and stay asleep throughout the night. Now I'm not saying you need to run a marathon every day, even moderate exercise like brisk walking, swimming or cycling can make a big difference. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. But here's the thing, timing is key. Avoid intense workouts close to bedtime, as this can make it harder to fall asleep. Instead, try to finish your workout at least a few hours before you plan on hitting the hay. Chapter 7. Nap Smart, Short and Sweet is the Key Let's talk about naps. We all love a good power nap, right? But did you know that napping the wrong way can actually sabotage your sleep? It's true. Long or late afternoon naps can throw off your sleep schedule and make it harder to fall asleep at night. So, what's the best way to nap? If you need to catch a few winks, aim for a short nap of 20 to 30 minutes and try to take it earlier in the afternoon. This will give you a quick energy boost without interfering with your nighttime sleep. And if you can, try to resist the urge to nap every day. While the occasional nap can be beneficial, relying on them too much can disrupt your sleep patterns and make it harder to get a good night's rest. Chapter 8. Stress, less calming your mind for restful sleep. Let's face it, we live in a stressful world. And when our minds are racing with thoughts and worries, it can be nearly impossible to get a good night's sleep. That's why it's so important to find healthy ways to manage stress and anxiety, especially in the hours leading up to bedtime. One of the most effective ways to calm your mind is through mindfulness practices like meditation or deep breathing exercises. These techniques can help quiet those racing thoughts and promote a sense of peace and relaxation. And don't underestimate the power of journaling. Taking a few minutes to jot down your thoughts and feelings before bed can help you process your day and release any lingering stress or worries that might be keeping you up at night. Chapter 9. When to seek help, don't suffer in silence. We've covered a lot of tips today, and I hope you find them helpful. But I want to emphasize that if you've tried making changes to your lifestyle and you're still struggling with sleep, it's essential to reach out to a healthcare professional. You're not alone, and there's no shame in seeking help. Persistent sleep problems can sometimes be a sign of an underlying medical condition, such as sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, or even anxiety or depression. A healthcare professional can help you determine the root cause of your sleep issues and recommend the best course of treatment, which might include therapy, medication, or other interventions. Remember, prioritizing your sleep is prioritizing your health. Sweet dreams! So there you have it! Nine simple yet powerful tips to help you improve your sleep starting tonight. Remember, quality sleep is an essential part of a healthy and happy life. It impacts everything from our mood and energy levels to our cognitive function and physical health. By incorporating these tips into your routine, you'll be well on your way to waking up feeling refreshed, recharged, and ready to take on the day. If you enjoyed these tips, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more health and wellness content. And be sure to let me know in the comments which tip you're most excited to try tonight. Until next time, sweet dreams.